Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is not this Thanksgiving special because I didn't film, but you know what? I'm thankful for you guys, and I'm also thankful for my amazing girlfriend. Shout out to Kelsey. She's actually doing um, window work, so she's working and we appreciate her. But nonetheless, we're here back home, of course, celebrating with family, and now we are doing a Rassin Review. Rassin Review number 12 today. So here we go with our first two matches, actually. So here we have Colton. Now this is actually one of the cast members of The Grind, which is, you know, wrestling's kind of only reality reality TV show. Um, they're on YouTube, and you can actually, you know, look them up and search them, and they got a bunch of videos documenting their wrestlers and their training guides and stuff like that, so it's really interesting. Um, but Colton here, he's gonna be in the green neon singlet, and this was at the Cosmic clash if you guys didn't see my short um, it, this is pretty much one of like the only like glow-in-the-dark wrestling tournaments super cool I think it's only youth but um, looks like he's stuck in a front headlock here definitely we have to we can circle towards our arm that's trapped and kind of relay that up on the opponent's head um, but he does a good job here cutting the corner reaching for that hamstring and I want to point out here when he reaches for kind of this hamstring ankle and locks in he goes right in to you know more moves which was be him putting in the legs on this guy and that's one thing I want to point out is that this chain wrestling doing these things you know like going one thing to the next and keep trying to score points and we're gonna see that in Colt in this match he keeps trying to turn them over and over and over again and clearly he's having a hard time here um, and now for me I guess what I would just say is almost put your left arm down by his elbow to pull up instead of kind of up by the shoulder um, not too sure if he got back points here. I don't think he did, um, but he's definitely going to readjust here in the match, and he does a good job with that. Um, but me, I am not like a leg rider myself, so I can't really say too much, but all I know is that that guy's in some pain right there if he's putting double boots in. Um, but yeah, he's definitely getting points here for sure. He's just tightening him up. Um, now, he's actually going to do a sick little sucker drake here when he's stuck in a front headlock um, as he reaches around, um, and he's going to get his points, and from here, this is where he starts to end the match because he's, he's going to end up flat man in this dude, and we can see there look at even the ref has like weird finger things that are glow in the dark but Colton gets the win by pin shout out to Colton um, and now we have actually one of his teammates Xavier so Xavier is gonna be on the left here kind of in the yellow or singlet um, now this is good this is gonna be a tough match for sure um, and now this this was in Colorado and they train out of New York um, and this this was a really good defense on him watch this defense by Xavier so this guy gets on a leg but Xavier does a good job pushing away staying on his feet not giving up on the position and we can see here the green wrestler makes a mistake by trying to finish low you can't finish low there you have to finish high um, and I just want to point that out again on this kind of low single defense he does a good job uh, keep trying to look for different things and different ways to score and um, but nonetheless, this guy gets his leg up, and which is good. He needs to, if, if I was a green guy, I'd keep trying to get that leg up and kick it out from under him. Um, but Xavier does a good job, and uh, there, there's no takedown because of that. Uh, so he does a nice little chuck by trying to hear. Good little hand fight. Keeps trying to work stuff. Uh, for, from here, definitely just got to keep moving in the front headlock. But he's going he's gonna to get a Merkel position here. Um, the green guy almost seemed like he kind of gave it up. But the ref doesn't even think that's two. I'm pretty sure that's two all day. Um, but nonetheless, uh, we can see here crazy positions happen. But he's actually going to gas out. And it's because, you know, it's it's in Colorado and the air is so thin. But if you want to check out the rest of the video, go check out the grind on YouTube. Uh, but nonetheless, Sebastian. Sebastian's in the blue. Now, uh, this match is going to be... It's gonna be wild. They're always gonna be shooting, always gonna be hand fighting, um, just moving. It looks like you're kind of too extended, um, but I do like the movement. Movement's really good. Um, just don't get lazy because I think I think you were just lazy and you just kind of overreach. And he, of course, went and shot for your legs there. So, um, but nonetheless, good job not getting on your back. Uh, fight hands here. Fight hands. Do a good job. Uh, and this, how how are you? Okay, no way, bro. That 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 that's good wrestling right there. I mean, that's just willpower at the end of the day. Like. He probably should have had you pinned, <laughs> but nonetheless, you just step over, you keep fighting, um, and that, that, yeah, that was just like just good movement. You just gotta keep moving, uh, and that's something that we can all pick up here. As he drives in a half, gotta sink back, make sure he doesn't roll through. As he's gonna try to roll through, oh, see, and you don't, you don't get back points here. So if anything, maybe don't try to think the pin right away. You know, think the back points and um, think to control him in that position. But let's see, trying to break him down. Good job getting, trying to get a cross wrist. Let's, but see, mm, see, I don't, I don't, good job sticking to one hand. I, th I don't think two hands on the wrist, I don't think that's the best. The best way is to go two hands on one so then you can work your turns. But it seems like that doesn't matter because he's still working a half here. Kind of on the edge of the mat, good edge of mat wrestling. That's a flat man if I've ever seen a flat man before. GG's, good stuff. That's a good match. And you get the win. So kudos to you. Good job. 
Good job. That's a dub. Next up on the list, now we got Tucker. So Tucker is going to be in the, I think it's the blue singlet, and he's wearing the red ankle band here. So let's see what we can see here. Uh, so right off the bat, it seems like the other guy has his hands on his head, giving the pressure all to him, having him kind of carry his weight. But you do a, I think in this match, you do a lot of trying to get that Russian two-on-one tie. Um, so one thing that I could say is just keep trying to get, get head position. You want his head kind of on his ear and, Oh, you tried. You tried to do a cool roll, um, and that worked. That I've seen that a lot in Greco. That worked. That move actually worked on me. Um, but this guy looked like he was ready for it, and I don't think you were in the best of position to hit that move. Um, but yeah, we just gotta work on getting out, winning the next position. Um, so for here, you're, you're doing a good job, kind of pushing on the wrists, but instead try to go for the fingers because that's definitely more annoying, and uh, you'll you'll definitely get your one. I think a lot easier, especially on I think better wrestlers. Let's see what's next here. Yeah, I think definitely getting your hands on him. See how his hands are always on you. You, you gotta exert your dominance on him. You do a good job sprawling, but you don't can, you don't kind of wrestle through that position. You don't keep sprawling. You, you gotta keep pushing him away, or even a reattack. A reattack would have worked in that situation. Great, uh, but he did a clean finish, lifted you up. Um, just gotta focus on scoring the next point here. Um, so it looks like trying to just army crawl back on into him. He's having good pressure. Now, now from here, how he had that arm over, you're pretty much free. You just need to have two hands on that one hand. You can put it over your head. You can get out there. Um, that's just kind of having a sense, or, sense of urgency. But thankfully, you got locked hands, so maybe it was a, a good thing you didn't get out right away because boom, you got a free point because of that. Um, nice little, trying to get your hips away. You got a nice little reversal. Way to go. Let's see if we can break him down here. Big lift or something. Guy's kind of in a quad pod. Um, and you, get, you just didn't ha kind of have your hips on him and maybe you just want to, okay, boom, there you go. You want to get that, that two-on-one uh, Russian roll. I mean, that was sick other than the, the cameraman not really missing it and the, the ref standing in the way, but that was sick. And, and you were losing this match. I mean, this is huge. That's like a six-point swing right there. Um, Let's see, didn't get him on his back, but now you got him on his back again. Um, and now in this position, I would say bring his hand, that hand that you're grabbing up to his head, because the more you bring it up to his head, the more his shoulders are gonna flatten out and you're gonna get the flat man. But you did it nonetheless, so kudos to you. See, this ref didn't even know who won because <laughs> this green guy was winning at the time before you hit that move, but I don't think he was quite paying attention, but uh, good job, man. That was, a, that was a W match in your duel here. Now we've got Wyatt. So Wyatt is gonna be in the the guy who hit the head throw, the um, black and I think it's purple singlet, um, but you kind of stepped over that leg. That's a scary position because I'm almost, almost worried for the other guy who's like, could get his knee hyperextended, things like that. Um, so I, I wouldn't suggest doing that type of head throw, especially right off the bat, but nonetheless, it worked for you. Um, it looks like you just gotta squeeze, squeeze him. You're gonna doing a good job scissoring your feet and you're sticking to that grip. Just gotta pull up the head, show, <laughs> show his mom in the stands. Um, as you're lifting it, the ref looked like he was about to call the pin. Maybe not. Gotta love. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's that's Donzo. I mean, that's if, if like if think about it. If you get head thrown in the first couple seconds, it's it's so frustrating and it's it's definitely hard to come back. But you won the match. Now we got Christian. He's in the green. I think he said this was his first year wrestling and this is one of his first matches. But this dude looks like ins in, like insanely strong. Just pushing the guy around the mat. So kind of what you kind of lack in technique off the bat, you you pick up in strength. Just like you know, again for this mat return, you gotta come off to the side so you can lift him and kind of not kind of. Pull it, pushing him and pulling him and dragging him, um, but instead of trying to lift his feet off the mat, nonetheless, you, you still did a great job there. You did what was needed to be done. As you're working that, shoot, what is that called? Uh, cross face cradle there. So that's nice, you get the pin, you get the flat man. Uh, good job, Christian. Now we got Noah. So Noah is, I think this was his first match of the year as well. I think he, this guy just started this year too. I'm not sure if I read in the email right, but he's in the blue singlet here. The guy in the red is gonna keep shooting, but. I mean, you're just gonna have like, you know, that same strength. You're gonna move him around the mat. Uh, for here, I, I can I can see how it's like a super squirrely, a super squirrely guy you're wrestling and just kind of moving you, kind of unpredictable. Um, but I think this guy will definitely wear out soon and you're doing a good job of staying in good position as, as you sprawl and the, like you literally sprawled and the guy just landed on his back. Um, so, I mean, this was this was a great, ma great start, I guess, you know, to your wrestling career in that sense. And you get him on his back. First match, can it end with a pin? Let's see, he got the back points. As he works in a half, can't really see from the camera angle, unfortunately, but you, oh, I got him on his back, but apparently the ref called you out of bounds, which I'm pretty sure you're still in bounds, but 
get the, get the half guy's gonna roll over uh, that that's gonna be that's gonna be done though that's gonna be the match so no more shout out to you man as you know as a first match in your wrestling career i mean way to go that's a that's a great way to start with a pin um and boom that, that's gonna be it that's gonna be rast review number 12. now if you guys do not know we hit 143,000. it seems like we're hitting a thousand like a couple thousand every time i make a new video which is insane but we we, I thought we were tied with Flow Wrestling, but Flow Wrestling's back at 144,000. So, uh, like I said in the previous video, like let's make it our goal to pass in subscribers. I gave us to the end of the new year, but it's we're gonna pass them here. It's it's only a matter of time. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys would like to have your chance at getting a wrestling match in the the next wrestling review, you can email me at wrestlingreview at gmail .com. I'll leave that linked in the description below. I do want to give a shout to all my patrons. Now I'm not at my uh, usual editing um, monitor and things like that. So I don't have the, the list of the patrons, but thank you guys very, very much. We're giving away a free pair of shoes once we hit 50 patrons. So go make sure to check that out. So with that being said, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next video.